must uh, at the onset really thank Dr. Nair. All what I did was just listen to him, good ideas and convert them into something tangible. He's been my guru for a very long time back then. So if you listen and you do, it's a good formula. There should be some targets and goals. If somebody, if you notice carefully, it's three to ten years. In fact, I was looking at it, I said, how can that be? But it is so. Oh, where did this go? Okay. It's the three to ten years staying aloft. I'm going to be very politically correct over here. These are superb aircraft from Boeing and from the Airbus. So we have to strike the balance. The 787 Dreamliner is something stubborn. It's 50% composites, 20% more fuel efficient. It will be introduced soon, I think in 2010. While on the right side is the A380, very large aircraft, already introduced and 25% in components. For my friends in the Indian aviation, this is what this country should be looking for. New aircraft, very low acquisition costs, of course economical, low noise emissions, very high safety, reliability and very high utilization. Really, really very important. Environment is a concern, carbon footprints are talked about, oceans are rising. People hear a lot of noise. Imagine an aircraft coming into land three in a minute. So for us, noise, carbon dioxide and nitric oxide emission reduction, fuel and fuel prices go up, really very important. Of course, for all the designers, aerodynamic efficiencies. Materials of concern, composites is the direction. Maybe new fuels in the power plants and of course the waste. Is there an opposite side is the question? Yes, there is. We could go back to trains or we could go back to stage coaches. But I think neither the aircraft manufacturers nor the traveling public will take that very lightly. Sources of noise, of course the engine. Airflow, rotors, systems, undercarriages, solutions are don't fly at night, don't think it's going to work. Overflight, world population increases, may not work also. So ultimately, it's a technology from the engines and the systems. But that's when there is quiet, there will be bliss and there will be more flying. Do people recall these screech? of a vampire's bubbling engine. I think you could scare the enemy more with the noise than with the weapon load what it could drop. And coming down from pure turbojets, really, really the engine manufacturers with large fan blades, improved propulsive efficiencies, thermal efficiencies have done a lot to bring down the noise levels in the last years. But again, last 50 years, but again, ask the people who are living below the cone of an aircraft taking off or landing. This is really, really very important. We really don't want the Arctic ice cap and the ice from that or the water from that submerging either Mumbai or Mauritius or Manhattan, I should say. Really, a lot of work has to be done in this area. There are two approaches. Either we improve combustion efficiency with the same thrust com conditions and thereby reduce the, uh, thereby reduce the emissions, or challenge for the de designers, reduce the drag, reduce the weight, move from metals to composites, therefore less thrust less fuel burn, less fuel builds, lower emission. Really, really 
a key area in development of future aircraft. I have put my acknowledgements to the people who have got these ideas. This is from Boeing. Advanced NASA is funding a program for advanced efficient engines which will really reduce fuel burn by 15%. It's quite a challenge. Then for the designers, nozzles and mixers, no indoors. A lot of things to do with the burning layers, uh, boundary layers on composites. So there is an immense potential to reduce fuel burn from 15 up to 30 percent. Again, what a marvelous profile, isn't it? So CFD has reached, that is computational fuel dynamics, has reached a level of maturity where really you can enter, which was virtually impossible a few years ago, with the uh, trends towards natural laminar, laminar fuel aerofiles, optimum shapes. And this is where you know, India has to do this. This is where the brains in India would have to focus on. Efficiencies of power plants. At long the station was power plants. And it was very interesting to see how the technology developed in the last 30 years. Overall combustion efficiencies have improved. They, should, they could go up over to 50%. TVTs will go higher and higher from 1700 Kelvin to about 2000 and 2200, which is better materials, better compressive efficiencies, better th thermal efficiencies. A lot of work, the really advanced technology with the four or five major engine uh, manufacturers, designers in the world who are working in these areas. Composites. Something challenge for people in India in the composite field. Our aircraft, the ALH and the LCA, there's an L in both these acronyms, the light, it's advanced light helicopter and the light combat aircraft. We designed them for to operate at high altitudes and at our airfield in Leh, and we have become quite good at this. But really the challenge for us would be the size and scale and output, how large structures we can make, what is the technology, what we put in that, and how many can we make. But I think this is really the way to go. Advantages are so many. I have worked with companies myself. Oh, the effort is in the tooling and the design and the processing technologies. What are the gains? You can virtually lift large sections with your hand, virtually indestructible, easy to install, less moving parts. This is an aircraft manufacturer's dream material to work in. We are very good at this. For duplex systems, central computing, health monitoring, electrostatic actuators, secure fuel communications, very high pressure hydraulic systems, less noisy systems. There is enough knowledge, talent in this country to put all the ideas and really put them on board a civil aircraft. Technology for the future, I remember long ago, even before I knew what it meant, I said let's put some materials, put some money in smart materials. It worked out very well. So six years down the road we are uh, reaping the results and these are technologies which if this country invests in will give us returns in 10 to 15 years time. This is really the requirement of all the airline operators. 